One of the advantages of mobile devices is that they're small. Because they're small, they're portable. They fit into our pockets, and we can carry them with us everywhere. But their small screen comes with some important limitations for both users and designers. Because the screen is small, it is harder for people to see all the information they need at the same time. So it's harder to make connections between different pieces of information that may be present on the same page. Users will have to work more, that is, scroll more, to see all there is on the page. Some may decide that the work is not worth it and abandon the page before they get to what they need. When the page is made longer with decorative graphics, the chance of users giving up increases. You can see here with Square how little the user is seeing on just one screen. The page is made so much longer by the illustrations. A study looking at two different designs, one textual and one picture-based, for the same kind of site, found that on mobile, people rated the textual design higher than the picture-based one. We hear the same thing in our usability testing. People like text more than images on mobile. There are two reasons why people tend to not like sites that have a lot of images on mobile. First, like mentioned before, images lengthen the page and force the user to scroll more. The second reason is that images make the page slower to load. Connectivity is often suboptimal on mobile, and people don't like to have to wait for the page to load. Does it mean that you should never use images on mobile? No. After all, modern smartphones have amazing screens with high resolutions, and many users enjoy looking at slideshows and watching videos on their phones. But it does not mean that they like looking at stock photography or at graphics whose only purpose is decoration and which lengthen the page and make it slower. Use images judiciously on mobile. Always think of the value added and compare it with the cost that the image incurs for your user. Ask yourselves, does the image bring supplemental information that will be otherwise not accessible and that justifies the extra scrolling and the loading time? If yes, then by all means, add it. But if you're not sure that there are any other benefits than making the page look prettier, it's not worth it. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our UX videos, Take a look at these over here and consider subscribing to our channel. On our website, nngroup.com, you can access our free library of over 2,000 articles. You can also register for one of our UX courses that offer live, hands-on UX training.